Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have the great fortune of running into Jana Vitala, one of the yeah. founding partners Hi. of Exobar Boats here at Flibs. And Jana, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, I know you're extremely pressure. busy here. My We're pressure. excited to have you show us the 45 Cross Cabin. This is a new boat in your lineup. This thing is sweet, buddy. Yeah, this is uh, for us. So uh, we're soon coming into our 10th year anniversary of Axel Park. Yeah. The 45, I would say, is really like the the grand masterpiece of what we've been able to acquire in terms of design, skills, technology, modularity, mm -hmm. and that really well presents itself on the 45 Cross Cabin. So yeah. uh, all the knowledge we've got from all the predecessors and all the other models that we've been doing, now I think that this, especially for Seattle area, for your area, this would be a perfect boat because in that sense, we're not only talking about fully enclosed all weather winter boating, but mm -hmm. really when the weather is out, you can really enjoy the nice weather with this one. For sure. Yeah, you're going to sell these boats up there because, because of the fact that you can close up the sunroof for five minutes and yep. then open it right back up again. Yep. It doesn't rain yep. all day, despite no. what we want people to believe. It yep. doesn't rain all day in Seattle. So you got triple 300 Mercs here. Oh yeah. Power this boat to... Uh, so on a cross cabin, we're doing somewhere around 45 knots maximum speed. Yeah. Uh, on the sun top and the open boats, especially if we equip them with a little less equipment, mm -hmm. you can go over 50 knots with them. Yeah. So for us, we only offer the V8s on the 45s because mm -hmm. we believe that's the absolute perfect solution and perfect engine choice for the 45s yeah. because now also with the triple V8s we're able to do one gallon per mile mm -hmm. so uh, that's really that's astonishing economy. for that's really yeah. astonishing for a 45 foot boat sure. and uh, one of the let's say one of our basic DNAs and one of our basic values in Oxopark is to push for innovation and technology also in the sense that we can create one of the most fuel efficient boats in its size range. Jana, this is option with a U-shaped seating arrangement here with a table in the center, with uh, gas struts it looks like on it. looks like you could probably drop this down and turn this into a sunbed. Yeah, you're right? absolutely correct. So this is one of the many options that we can offer on board an Oxapar 45. So this is the U-shaped sofa where you can turn down the table and you can have a full-size sunbed, but you're still not taking away any of the storage underneath. In addition to that, you will also get, of course, ample storage on both sides of the boat. Oh, yeah, so in that, that sense, uh, you have different locations for different storage mm -hmm. all around the boat and of course under deck storage as well yeah so standard the boat always comes with a standard sofa in the back mm -hmm. but for those who really then want to have the full open aft space that's yeah. how we want to keep it mm -hmm. but then also in addition if you want to sleep comfortably four persons on board then you equip this boat with the aft cabin as well yeah we've seen those they're beautiful yeah, and then of course you got your wet bar here. Yes, so barbecue. that's actually a very interesting innovation from ours because this was more or less for us a challenge because we do so many aft deck options. Mm -hmm. And usually on all the boats you have the wet bar always against the aft wall on, on a cabin boat or anywhere. And if you do an U sofa, if you do an aft cabin, you deleted the wet bar option. Mm -hmm. So we were just looking that, hey, we have two large fender boxes. Yeah. What can we do with these? And we are actually the first one to come up with a full top-loading refrigerator, mm -hmm. uh, electric grill and sink, but still also not taking away any of the storage. We still have ample mm -hmm. storage underneath. What a great so, use of uh, space. Yeah, and now this actually is user-friendly with any of the aft deck options. Yeah. So, uh, and also with any of our models. So you can go from the cross cabin, cross top to the sun top and you will have the same modularity all across our entire Endless range. possibilities. Yes, in yeah. that sense. That's part of our essence and DNA that we really tr strive with modularity and creating mm -hmm. boats that work. Yeah, and then sliding on up the yeah, of course. The walk around cabin here, whole yes. side door that yes. opens this up. Yes. Uh, ingress, egress from the dock. Yes. You can put cushions here. Yes, so you can... Great uh, seating area. Is, yeah, so this is actually, uh, probably doesn't show in the picture that well, but it's actually a pretty large one. Yeah. So even for me with a cushion, I can still, mm -hmm. you know, use this as a full sun lounge. But the whole idea with this was also that uh, it extends the interior. So uh, this is an option that we have standard. So this is a feature we have standard on all the boats, mm -hmm. on all 45s. And we had a problem of how can we actually make the side balcony doors work on the cross cabin. And in that sense, we came up with the solution of having two doors. So you have an aft door yeah. that fully opens up the full entirety of the boat. So in that sense, you can sit comfortably inside and you can still have 
you know, space around and you get air inside and throughout the whole cabin uh, when the weather is nice. And then when the rain comes, yeah, the you doors just, close. Yeah, you just close it and that's yeah. it. So, uh, again, and these doors, they both slide. Yes. yes. Okay. So if you want to have full access from the front, Endless that's of possibilities course, yeah. here. And then of course we have the canvas roofs. So yeah. the one thing with the Oxopars, these are electric on the 45s. So uh, when the weather is nice, you want some really air inside of the cabin, yeah. you just open up the roofs and now you have full air inside of the whole cabin. Yeah. Here then we have a standard wet bar on the 45 cross cabin. <clears throat> this usually then houses uh, a small trash can on, on sides. Then you have refrigerators on the sides. And like then that. because we have the grill in the aft, so yeah. here we just have a small mm -hmm. uh, stove uh, or uh, yeah, stove in that sense. Yeah. And then this is adjustable. This, this is adjustable. So the whole idea is that now when, for example, we're driving, mm -hmm. I can utilize this as a leaning bench. Yeah. So I can actually be leaning at the wet bar. Mm -hmm. And if I want to have access to any of the drawers underneath, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I move the wet bar. And also if I want to have a comfortable seating mm -hmm. around the U sofa, then I move the wet bar all the way back. Mm -hmm. But if I want to create more space, I just push down the button and I have the possibility to move the whole wet bar forward. Opens up this entertainment Open, space. Yes, and also in addition to that, what it's also doing, mm -hmm. it's actually creating a passageway for me to pass the whole entire boat yeah. without you being, uh, you know, locked into a location. So now, especially with this setup, that I can easily move across the whole entire boat, mm -hmm. you can comfortably be seated still spaciously around, even on the balconies, I have not seen any other boat on the market that no. creates this sort of sensation of really being outdoors, mm -hmm. which is, of course, one of our true values of Oxford. Well, Bar especially as well. in the Pacific Northwest. It is yeah. gorgeous there, but we yes. get some inclement weather. Yeah. And in a matter of about a minute, you yeah. can have this whole thing locked down, yeah. get through the rain squall, get through yeah. the rainstorm, boom, it's all open again. So just before yes. we met up with you, we were on here with Connor Brown, yep. and it started raining. Yep. He hit the button up there, boom. Yep. The sunroof closed, yep. Close five the minutes later it quit raining, we open it right back up And also uh, one thing that people doesn't really uh, uh, get is that these are waterproof materials. Yeah. So they will get a bit damp from rain, but mm -hmm. they will still, they have a rubber backing inside. Fantastic. So it's actually going to be waterproof in that sense as well. So yeah. um, it's this sort of uh, idealing, uh, playing with ideas mm -hmm. that gets now coming soon 10 years of Oxopar really that we can showcase modularity and innovation in a completely new way yeah. that has not really been done on the market before. Yeah. Let's slide up to the helm station, Jana. Yep. You've got a multi-function helm station that's unique to this Cross Cabin 45, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, one thing with Oxopar is that we want to simplify and make things work in a very uncomplex way. Mm -hmm. Before you were measured, the skipper's me uh, before a skipper's skill was measured by his ability to read gauge gauges mm -hmm. and press different buttons mm -hmm. all across the helm station. Yeah. What we really wanted to do is go com completely you the really opposite. Cleaned so up we this really dash. want to clean it up. Yeah. So the whole thing in general, uh, we want to, the boat to feel unintimidating, mm -hmm. inviting and also for you as an owner and driver of the boat to be able to enjoy the boat not being you know uh needing to look at too many things so mm -hmm. we the boat in itself already wants to handle in a very neutral position so there's no really need to use trim tabs or engine mm -hmm. or anything the boat handles itself mm -hmm. but then when it comes to all the boat thrusters joysticks and everything that you have uh, we already implement here. we took them away from the dashboard mm -hmm and implemented into our own developed multifunction steering yeah, everyone's used to this on their cars, their automobiles, yes, their trucks yes. and whatnot now. So yep. And for us, it's a perfect, perfect way of cleaning up the dashboard, making it easily and understandable for anyone. Mm -hmm. And especially we have so many people that comes over from cars and they want to have the simplicity yeah. and the usability of a car. Mm -hmm. So we try to do that for the boats as well. Fantastic. But that's not, that's just like one thing, but we're also doing a lot of different things. So for us, important is of course the view from the helm station. I want to show everybody the view here from the yeah. helm station. So, so the one thing that we really want to make sure is that we always have panoramic views from the helm station. Yeah. That's one thing because uh, one is also, of course, you need to be on the lookout, but in that sense, we also made all the cross cabins with a rake windscreen, a negative windscreen, mm -hmm. 
just to take away all the glare so that whatever you put here on the dashboard, mm -hmm. a map or anything, it doesn't glare back from the windscreen. And they share water so well yes. too. Yes, yeah. because of the wind while you're driving, so you yeah. actually don't really need to even use the windshield wipers mm -hmm. for that. But then there's another feature also, which is actually just the seating position. Mm -hmm. So my favorite position is always driving standing. Mm -hmm. So this is, you will see me nine out of 10 times or eight out of 10 uh, driving like this. Yeah. But then, uh, this is also one thing that you can just lean back and mm -hmm. sit in the leaning, but you're still connected with the boat. Yeah. Of course, you can fill down, pull down the bolster and adjust the seat and you will be driving traditionally. Yeah. But on every Axo part, the 22, the 25, the, the 29, the 37 and the 45, this is another true DNA of Axo part that you can always, you know, in and out as a skipper, it's yeah. way, t way easier to maneuver it, harbors or anything when you're easily accessible outside. Something that when you go on many other boats, yeah. these are usually features that are missed. Of course, you want, uh, so uh, as the owner, you want to have the perfect visibility because you're most likely going to be the one that drives the boat. Yeah. But for your guests to be, you know, feeling the, the, the sensation of trail and driving the same, mm -hmm. we really make special focus on creating visibility out from the aft sofas and everywhere so that they can also be enjoying the scenery while driving. Yeah. Let's pop down into the forward cabin yeah, here. Yeah, let's do that. Right through here. Yep. So we actually named the forward cabin a bit of a lounge. Mm -hmm. So now what we've done here, this would be probably the standard layout of any front cabin on any standard boat you have there. So you have a small sofa, you have the, the toilet, you have a place for a microwave, you have a sink, and then you have a bed. Mm -hmm. But what we actually did, this folds sofa. up, and this yeah. becomes a sofa, yeah, so that. that we can use this as a full lounge. Mm -hmm. But the, the real thing comes yeah. with the gullwing doors. So that when we open up the gullwing doors on both sides, mm -hmm. this really transforms a usually very stuffy front cabin, mm -hmm. where the air doesn't circulate, into a really nice lounging area. So. Just, you know, imagine having nice weather, being here, able to get some shelter from the sun, but you're still not disconnected from the outdoors and you feel the breeze going in and through the whole entire boat. In every space on this boat, you can enjoy the indoors and the outdoors. Yes, just like absolutely. This. Yeah. That, so, so we, Fantastic. It, it took us a lot of time and effort, believe me, to make mm -hmm. this work. I can tell you, creating an easy solution takes 10 times more than finding a complex solution. Yeah. So that's where, when something just works, usually you have a lot of hours behind that mm -hmm. in order to make that. Well, you've done work. a great job of it, buddy. Oh, thanks. Yeah, amazing. Let's take let's a go outside. Yeah. Ahead, and we'll go up to the bow real quick. Yep. And then yep. uh, I know you're a busy guy. We're gonna let you go. Mm -hmm. Both getting yeah, busy no here. Yeah. But, no uh, worries. Yeah, man. it's it's, it's going to be one of the most I, visited boats on the show. So I can't wait, wait to see one of these on Puget Sound. Yeah. So uh, what we did here. <clears throat> is then of course on the front deck mm -hmm. we created a very comfortable sitting area outside so that not only are you able to sit outside in the aft mm -hmm. you're able to open up all the doors and sit in the middle of the boat you have actually a third exterior location where you can uh, you know just enjoy your day out at sea yeah. with the full sun shades if you want to of course we're now in Fort Lauderdale so mm -hmm. it's gonna be a you know you want to get some protection from the weather oh yeah <laughs> Also, in addition, uh, with mm -hmm. the extended gullwing doors push and with that the cushions, yep, push that one down. There we go. Now we have a huge mm -hmm. sun lounge even in the foredeck. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, seating for three, you can be easily be up here seven, eight people again. Yeah. So this is truly an accommodative and very functional boat for any sort of day activities. And we still haven't taken away any of the usability from the walk around, mm -hmm. accessibility all around the boat. You, you still, you know, we've not taken away anything. We're just emphasized mm -hmm. uh, functions and features on the boat. Endless possibilities. Yeah, That's that is what we want. That is what we want to do. And that's what all keeps us motivated into it. Yeah, thank you so much for yeah, the time, man. We really my appreciate pleasure. it. Thanks yeah. for dropping by. We're going to show you yes, more please. of this Cross Cabin 45 over the coming year. But uh, for now, we appreciate your time, John. Yeah, my pleasure. And uh, we'll catch you next time here on Live the Boat.